An NPP leader, Nana Dudanko Kofado, has accepted the challenge thrown to him by President John Dramani Mahama for a debate on national issues ahead of this year's elections. Nanado, on his Twitter handle, tweeted that he's ready to debate the president if that would solve the country's problems. And joining me via phone this afternoon is the press secretary of Nana Adodankwe Kofado, Eugene Ahin. Good afternoon, Eugene, and thanks for yeah. your time. Good and now, early on, there were reports on social media that you had signed a letter indicating that Nanado wasn't ready to debate the president. How true is that? Um, before we begin, a good afternoon to your cherished viewers. Um, yes, I, I, I saw the statement circulating on social media, specifically WhatsApp and Facebook, yesterday in the evening that I had offered a statement saying that Nanado Kufado was not prepared to debate the president on certain issues in the run-up to the 2016 election. And mm. um, that statement did not come from me, did not originate from the office of the flag that did not originate from the NPP communications directorate. So I, immediately I sent out a disclaimer mm. as if I let people that Nanak Vado or myself had not made any statements to the effect that the NPP flag bearer would not have been himself for for any debate. So that statement coming out of the, the that statement allegedly signed by me was, 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 was totally fabricated and it, it, it's not true. Originally, if there's a statement that comes from the outfit of the MPP flag bearer, you'd easily find it on his own, the, the flag bearer's um, 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 Facebook page or his website or even my own Facebook page, but mm. not, not, nothing like that could be traced to any of those pages. So I just wanted people to know that no statement has been signed by me to the effect that and that father would not avail himself for, for, for any debate with the president. Now, knowing that we're in an election year and um, the issues, when e an era where we're seeing forged signatures and statements coming up, are you leaving it as that or you're ensuring that some investigation is going on to prevent such um, occurrences in the future? So, certainly, it, 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 it's been one too many. So, such um, false statements purportedly emanating from our uh, 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 end. You see so many statements. It's been done to Nana Kufado several times, but he has issued a statement um, um, and touching on set, 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 uh, an, an issue. We have to come out and issue a disclaimer. So as I speak, we, we, we've uh, spoken to the director of communications of the party, and we, we have all come to an agreement that there's something we probably need to, 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 to report to the police. You know, the police have, they have a cyber crime unit, and as quickly as possible, find out who these perpetrators are because okay. as you said yes we are in election season anybody anywhere can just sit on social media draft something just put your name on it and then it goes viral mm -hmm. you know if, if you don't if you if, if you're not given opportunity to to, to re react to that statement you know it, it, it's taken as fact so yeah that's something we are we are, we are, we are working on Okay, now the president um, stated that he was ready to debate Nanado head-on. Um, now, Nanado did tweet that if that debate will solve the country's problems, he is ready for it. Does he believe that a debate will indeed solve the country's problems? Is that what it means? No, he, he is of the belief that um, at the end of the day, the president's priority um, um, over, over his, his, his tenure in office is to improve upon the livelihoods of, of Ghanaians. That is what the people of Ghana elected him to do. So that should be his priority. Mm -hmm. And not trying to look for a debate with the leading opposition figure or in, 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 any other person for that matter. His mandate is to solve the issues of this country. But at the end of the day, if the president believes that engaging in a debate with him would, 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 would solve the, the, the crisis the economy is in, would improve our healthcare delivery system, would, would virtually lift Ghana from the situation she finds herself in onto an acceptable standard, then he has no problem. He has no problem whatsoever meeting the president for a debate anywhere, anytime, any day. He has no problem with, with it whatsoever. So after, after when the president is ready, <laughs> I believe that Michael Father is also ready. Now, there are some concerns. There are some people who think that going back to the state of the nation address and the real state of the nation address, there have been a lot of back and forth. And then the president throws a debate out. And then your representative also reacts to it. Now, who gets to benefit from this? Are these political parties or representatives not just playing politics with such comments? Well, at the end of the day, I believe um, 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 it's, it, it, Ghanaian people will be the best people to judge what, what, what the exact situation is, depending on virtually, 
as you said, the state of the nation and then the real state of the nation at this. At the end of the day, the Ghanaian people would have to, they, they must have the opportunity to at least learn the truth from, 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 from both statements. Yes, we've made, for example, we've made statements to the effect that our, our, our current debt stock is currently 37 billion. The president um, is, is refuting that he says it's 24 billion. So definitely a debate like that would afford Ghanaian opportunities to know who is telling the truth. At least before they get to the polls, they would have an idea as to, or an inkling of an idea as to which person they have to trust. So probably such a debate certainly would be near to the benefit of the Ghanaian electorate. All right. Well, thank you very much, Eugene Ayn. He is the okay. press secretary of Nana Adodankwe Kufuado, and he was reacting to the statement the president made about um, debating him on issues relating to the economy. You're still watching Media Life.